couple of things when it comes to uh, when it comes to hand care in the gym. Uh, a lot of things that we see are people chalking, people taping. Um, they don't really understand why. They just kind of see everybody else doing it, or it's a um, it's a quick fix to a, an injury they might have or a cut that they're trying to cover up. So we're going to cover a couple of those things today. We're going to cover uh, when to chalk your hands, why to chalk your hands, and also. Um, when to tape, how to tape your hands, and why would you tape your hands, um, and including your wrist as well. So, first things first, chalking, okay? Why do we chalk our hands in the gym? Um, and it's not just to look like LeBron James and make the cool little puff of smoke in the air, although that can be fun if you choose to go that route. So, um, I will neither confirm nor deny that I've done that. So, I'm telling you, don't do it. It wastes chalk and it makes a big mess and completely defeats the purpose. So, reasons why we chalk our hands. A lot of the times what happens is uh, hands get a little sweaty, get a little clammy, or they're just dry in general. We try to grab onto the pull-up bar, we try to grab a barbell, and uh, we lose our grip on the barbell, or the bar itself, hands, are, hands themselves are just really, like I said, really clammy, really sweaty. So the purpose of the chalk is to give you a little better grip on both the pull-up bar, on a kettlebell, um, sometimes a dumbbell, and also for um, any barbell movement we do, okay? Um, so, chalking our hands. First thing to be said about chalking our hands is make sure your hands are dry, okay? If that means grabbing a blue towel from the gym or you know, bringing your own towel, wiping your hands off on your shirt, maybe even up into your wrist, I get a little sweaty in the arm, so I gotta wipe it down here. Um, the reason we want to make sure that our hands are dry before we chalk is if our hands are sweaty or we just grabbed our water bottle or drinking water, and then we put chalk on top of that, it completely defeats the purpose of what chalk is supposed to do, okay? The chalk and the water clump up. It's not Bill Nye the science guy. I'm not gonna go into the whole chemical reaction that happens, but I'll tell you this, it, it clumps up, okay? And, and it doesn't stay on, doesn't serve its purpose. It kind of just makes a, a little doughy clay in your hand and then it falls off and then you're just constantly re-chalking throughout the entire workout. So. Times to do it. You can either do it before you hear the three, two, one, go. That way your hands are already chalked and you're ready to go. Um, you can do it in between movements while you're going from, say, a barbell to a pull-up or you know, a barbell to a run. You can do it in between that movement. I wouldn't say use it as an excuse to get a break, though, or catch your breath. That's not a good time. You'd probably get yelled at for that. So let's take a look at, at the chalk buckets, um, how to chalk your hands, why to chalk your hands, and so on. So. Chalk buckets, we have uh, these awesome little black chalk buckets that we finally found. You guys have broken quite a few of them, and it's okay though. Okay, trial and error. So, block of chalk, this is brand new out of the bag, or out of the, the little paper it comes wrapped in, and as you can tell, it's a it's pretty, uh, pretty delicate piece of chalk. It starts to break off uh, immediately as soon as you put it in the, in the bucket. Um, one thing I would say, guys, is once you, if you see a block of chalk like this, rather than breaking it into a bunch of different pieces, just leave it just like that. It'll work just like that. Grab a hold of it. Typically, you want to get right around up here on the, the palm of your hand. You can see where the calluses start to form. That'll help out. And then right in here as well. Where you grab that bar or the dumbbell or the pull-up bar is where you typically want chalk. So if you take that block, you just kind of rub that chalk over. You get a nice little, nice little layer of chalk. Get in there good. So the reason you get in here is when you're holding that barbell, you wrap your hand around that barbell, then this here will also stay nice and dry. And... Ta-da, you got chalked, okay? So what you would do is you would do that to both hands. And again, like I said, once you wrap your hands, depending on how you grab that pull-up bar, how you grab the dumbbells, or how you grab the barbell, this chalk will serve as almost like a, a little layer of grip to help you hold onto that bar, okay? Um, it also leaves cool little handprints on people when you walk by and they don't know it. So that's why you chalk your hand and when you chalk your hands, okay? Be smart with it, don't waste it. Um, if you can, don't break it in half, but again, use it smartly and make sure you use it for the purpose that it served, not just because it looks cool. 